Here are some great tips if you're ever in a situation where you have a mentor at work. I'm learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? One of my clients came to me earlier and asked me if I were willing to participate in their summer internship program and mentor one of their summer interns because he was interested in going into a writing field at some point after college. And I said, sure, fine. I met him at a group meeting, a you know, conference call, and uh, we set up a weekly call, half hour, once a week, in which we can talk about anything he wants, any questions he has. And I was a little concerned because I could tell he was very shy, very nervous. So the first week we got on and we talked for 10 minutes about the work he had done the previous week for the company. And that was fine. You know, I gave him some feedback on why they changed this or they did that. And then it was dead silence because I said to him, what questions do you have? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? And he he didn't really know what to ask. So finally he just said, uh, um, uh, tell me tell me about what, what, what your industry is like. I thought, well, that's a missed opportunity there. Missed, a little missed opportunity. Now fortunately, I had planned ahead and thought, well maybe this guy's not going to know what kind of questions to ask. So what I did was I had put together a couple resources ahead of time for him. Things about ri business writing. And I said, you know, look at this, look at this go over it and next time ask me any questions about it so I gave him a couple resources and I talked to him about uh, starting a, a free blog so he can get some writing practice and I also talked to him about a couple of websites that he could be writing for even though they don't make a lot of money I've mentioned in the past hub pages and I'll, I'll put the link down below if anybody's interested in uh, joining hub pages I said so you can practice your writing you know he, he's interested in film reviews so I said you know you can just put up film reviews you know, it's good practice, plus it shows future employers that you're writing. And he seemed to be okay with that. And I gave him a goal. I said, next week I want to know how much writing you've been doing this week. And afterwards I thought to myself, you know, nobody ever explained it to me when I was a young intern. But here are the things that I would do now if I were an intern. Throughout the week, whenever I had a situation that I wanted to ask my mentor about... Whenever I thought of something, I would write them down, write it down, write it down, right? Have in your back pocket a little notepad, write down your questions, write down situations that you want to know about. It doesn't necessarily have to be a question. You just want to know a little bit more about um, something to do with the industry or something to do with your mentor's uh, experience. And then what I would do is I would sort them into sort of three different categories. One category is just about the work you're doing for the company. You know, why did we do this? Why is this? Who, who's involved in that? What's the procedures here? So that you learn the job and you want to do a good job. But that's, that's only part of what an internship should be. The second part, really, is how do you survive in this industry? Whatever industry you're going into. You want to ask about examples of how to succeed, uh, examples of things to avoid. You want to ask about uh, maybe extra education you should have, what sort of training you want to look for, you know, what uh, what you can do to be better in whatever industry that mentor is in so that you can thrive. All right. And then the third thing is how to survive in the workplace. And this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one because every workplace has a different culture. But if your mentor has been around a while, and especially if the mentor has worked in a few places, she knows how to get around workplaces. How do you deal with it if one person dominates a meeting? How do you deal with somebody taking credit for your work? How do you deal with the little backstabbing that might go on? How do you deal with the withholding of information that some workers really, really thrive on doing? Start to ask those questions as well. If you take those three categories during the week, write down questions, and then you meet with your mentor, you'll have plenty to talk about. And believe me, the mentor wants you to ask questions. That's what a mentor wants. Because I don't want the pressure of having to come up with something to talk about every week if we're going to sit down for a half hour. I want him to have questions for me. So that's what I would suggest you do. If you're ever in a, a mentor relationship and you have a mentor, 
give them stuff to talk about. They want to do it. Anyway, a little a little bit different topic this week, but uh, I thought I'd throw it out there because I think it'll be helpful for people. If uh, you know anybody who's in a, an internship or a mentorship and this might help, please like and share it with them. I think it'd be helpful. If you've got other tips for an intern or somebody who's in a mentorship uh, situation, please put the comments down below and um, I'll see you next week.